Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten 774 here, bringing you a walkthrough for the fourth game in the Nancy Drew series, Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. This is an excellent game, super excited, so why don't we just go ahead and get started with a new game. Hi there. It's me, Nancy Drew. As usual, two different difficulty levels. Mystery. Junior detective Treasure if you aren't as experienced, senior detective Choose if you your have difficulty a level more to start off. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Best she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan, but at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. All right, so that's the premise of this game. Nancy is on vacation, and the vacation is going to turn into a mystery. This will be the first of many such vacations for Nancy. Need our room key card, room number 205. Let's see what else we can grab in our room right away. Ah, our locker number and combination. That's something we're gonna want to write down. We are locker. Number 310, and our combination is 517. Alright, so now we have that. It's in our suitcase. Ah, a pamphlet for Wickford Castle. So this is where we're staying. It's a ski resort in Butter Ridge. Wisconsin, built by Ezra Wickford, the inventor of chocolate milk. The project took seven years and millions of dollars, but by the time it was done, Wickford Castle had become an architectural marvel. After Wickford's death, the castle was closed down, and now it's reopened by his great niece, the current owner, Christy Lane. And now it's one of the most popular vacation resorts in the Midwest. What to do while you're here? Uh, the castle is a maze of corridors, which we'll definitely see. Learn the story of the 18th century French tower. During his travels in France, Wickford became so enchanted with the Chateau Rochemont that he bought the castle's grand tower and had it built onto this castle in 1924. Few people have ever seen the inside of the tower because Mr. Wickford kept it sealed off. The tower is still closed, but in the coming months, Christine Lane plans to open it up to guests and offer guided tours. Oops. There's more to look at in there. She's also restoring the 1920s vintage elevator, visit the library. Also, while in France, Wickford acquired the Majestic Library and many of its contents from the estate of Jean de Bouffe. The room is filled with antique books, both French and English. It's worth a visit just to see Marcel Bonnet's famous portrait of Marie Antoinette, which was imported from the Chateau Rochemont. And then outside, into the winter months, which it is right now, we will enjoy skiing. Except we will never go skiing. That is not a thing that we'll get to do in the game. Else. Da, 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 da. Ah, a menu for the Wickford Castle brunch, br breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Baby back ribs with creature of the night sauce. Better than nothing broccoli surprise. These are poorly named foods. They do not sound appetizing. 
Just like in the last game, we do have full control over time, a feature that I absolutely love. We have the phone here, and we can call Ned and George and the operator. Don't do any of that right now, though. That noise we've been hearing in the background Sounds is like the radiator is broken. Yeah, it is broken. We'll see what we can do about getting that fixed. Let's see. Sassy Detective Magazine. Talking about using fingerprints to determine keypad access codes. That might come in handy. Alright, let's go explore the castle a little bit. the lobby. There's a couple nice postcards over here for Wisconsin. Peppercliff Farms is kind of a reference to Pepper Ridge Farms, which is a cheese business from Wisconsin. Ski Wisconsin. Wickford Castle, Butter Ridge Ski Resort. Also, Lando Lakes is a, you know, butter type. Le Pierre Chateau. Let's meet, let's meet Dexter. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? All square. I just need a stamp to send this letter and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour, but forget about the library. It's off limits. Sounds like you mean business, Mr. Egan. What happened? Too many overdue books? Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's gonna be pretty upset. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before check-in yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Wow, a hole in the wall? What do you think they were looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. How do you know? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? Good question. Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Egan. Is there any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. So much for our vacation. We're already running errands for Dexter. But that's okay. It'll give us a chance to get to know everyone in the castle. And this library vandalism sure sounds interesting. Wonder what that's all about. There's a book over here that we can check out. Two books, actually, I think. Yeah. Major figures and events of the French Revolution. Book one. This one's about Marie Antoinette. She will be important in this mystery, so we should learn about her a little bit. Born in Vienna, Austria, youngest daughter of Francis I and Maria Theresa, Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1770, she was obliged to wed Louis the 16th of France to symbolize an alliance between France and her parents' dynasty. Marie Antoinette became Queen of France when her husband was crowned King Louis the 16th. As queen, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular. While the commoners stood in breadlines praying for food, they cursed the queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace. The people's discontent grew and grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. It was arranged for the king and queen to escape Paris on the night of June 20th, but revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple at Varennes on June 25th and escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. On August 10th, the monarchy was finally overthrown. 
Marie Antoinette spent the rest of her life in Parisian prisons. Louis XVI was executed. Marie Antoinette was brought before the Revolutionary Tribunal and guillotined two days later. Executed without proof of the crimes for which she was accused. And then there's a little bit about the guillotine. The lovely, lovely device for beheading. Oh, and what's the second book? The Storming of the Bastille. An angry Parisian mom stormed and captured the old royal prison known as the Bastille. The mob was looking for weapons and ammunition. Governor was killed. Seven inmates, none of them political prisoners, were freed after the prison was overthrown. Its thick walls were torn down. When told what had taken place, King Louis XVI exclaimed, Why, this is a revolt! No, sire, was the reply, it is a revolution. Jean Le Bouff. That's the guy who owned the library that has all the books that's now here. Became one of the commanders of the French Revolutionary Army at the age of 22. Best known for foiling Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette's attempt to escape Paris in, Ju in June 1791. So he's the one who captured them after their escape. Very interesting. Ah, and this is Lisa. I think we'll meet Lisa in our next video and then continue to do some more exploring. So I'll see you then, fellow detectives.